guys, today is gonna be Daisy and Mushi's first time outside this year. And they have been outside one time before last year. But they were like, I don't know how, oh, two months or something. So, yeah. I'm really excited for this. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you what you have to, um, Think of when you're taking your hamster outside, and I'm of course show you that Daisy and Mushi are going outside. So let's just start. Okay, so if you are taking your hamster outside, probably the most important thing is to know that the weather is okay. Right now, here it's 21 degrees Celsius, so it's super hot. And um, Fahrenheit, I'll just put that up there because yeah, I don't know um what it is in fahrenheit but yeah it's really hot and you want to be sure that it's hot because if it's too cold they can get shock they can go in shock or something so yeah you really 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 don't want that to happen now it's gonna be the um things you'll need or you don't really need these things but i suggest taking these with you when you are um going outside with the hamster so first you are going to need a water bottle or a water bowl i'm using the water bowl just because i don't have anywhere to put the water bottle and they see and we should know how to uh, drink out of a water bowl because it's it is hot outside it's probably hotter than inside and then you want to be sure that they stay hydrated you don't want them to be dehydrated you can bring outside is a playpen i know that some people prefer not putting them in a playpen but they like to um hold them while they're outside but because daisy is a dwarf and she's pretty fast and which is of course a dwarf and fast um i would suggest putting them in a playpen instead of in your hand and the same with the Robrowski. but if you have a syrian uh, you can handle it if you want, but I just have the playpen for safety. You don't have to have the playpen or If you don't have a playpen you can have a home make a homemade playpen and We have actually made a video on that So I'll put that down below in the description if you would like to check that one out then what you can what you need is um, some sort of hideout so they can hide if they're um, scared of um, or something so they want to hide so I just have this wooden hideout and because we're outside I like to go natural but of course you don't have to do that no you, you really don't but this one is a, this is a homemade um, hideout and you don't have to have a house you can also use tunnels this is a willow tunnel or bendy bridges because they can also form into a hideout and then maybe some sort of toy so i just have this a wooden seesaw from trixie uh, which you can also give to your hamster to play put some food in a food bowl if you would like but i don't feel like um i need that because um i'm, I'm gonna take some vegetables outside for her to eat if she would like that. So you can put your hamster on grass and then it's your choice if you want to put on no grass this grass is just cut so it's like really it has a lot of um, like loose grass so I don't know if I'll put Daisy here but you can also put them in the shadow of a tree or something so yeah like me and your grass is freshly cut and you don't want your hamster to get to all the grass you can put them on some stone tiles like this and this is where I'm gonna put Daisy so if you also are gonna go um, if you also gonna go tiles it's really good for their nails because um, it um, their nails scratch on the tiles so if your hamster does have long nails I would suggest putting them on the stone but of course you can also put them on the grass because that's also nice <laughs> if you also have a cat you should probably let them go inside hi hi 
did they see? Oh, that's bright, isn't it? It's a lot of sun out. Cool, let's put you in there. Oh.